Hey, Cowboys Nation! If you don't want to miss any first hand news from America's team, subscribe to the channel now, as we are always attentive to the latest news from the Dallas Cowboys, and here you will always be in the know with. The way the Dallas Cowboys have been cooking these past few days, you'd think it was the week of Thanksgiving. Following a quiet start to 2023 NFL free agency last Monday, they've since made not one unexpected and electric trade, but now two in less than a week's time, acquiring veteran wide receiver Brandon Cooks. In a deal struck with the Houston Texans, the Cowboys will receive Cooks in exchange for a fifth-round pick in 2023 and a fourth-round pick in 2024, low-risk compensation for a potentially still explosive drum of gunpowder. Cooks, 29, is a former first-round pick of the New Orleans Saints, 2014, who has blown past 1,000 yards receiving in six of his nine NFL seasons, and that includes twice for a Texans team that lacks stability at quarterback. To date, Cooks has racked up a total of 8,616 receiving yards and 49 receiving touchdowns, 8,925 scrimmage yards in all. What Cooks brings to the table for the Cowboys is speed, and gobs of it, his 4.33s 40-yard dash time proving that point in spades. It's no secret Dallas needed a speedster to help take the pressure off of CeeDee Lamb and Michael Gallup, and it's Cooks who gets the nod after a very public courtship in December with a still-healing Odell Beckham Jr., and this likely means they're now out on Beckham, though time will ultimately tell. Initially set to hit the Texans' salary cap in 2023 for $24.4 million, $18 million being base salary. It's currently unknown if the current deal will be reworked to allow for some relief toward the Cowboys' salary cap, but they've restructured several deals recently, e.g., Dak Prescott, Tyron Smith, Zach Martin, Michael Gallup, to free up room for such a move. The Texans have agreed to consume $6 million in guaranteed money to make the deal go through, though, per multiple reports, and that certainly helps the situation on Dallas' end. Cooks spent time with both the New England Patriots and the Los Angeles Rams before his stretch with the Texans, but he's hoping the short drive up I-45 North will be for a more permanent home. Since being drafted in the first round by New Orleans in 2014, Cooks has six 1,000-yard receiving seasons. Last year was one of his worst statistically though, with 57 catches for 699 yards and three touchdowns in 13 games. Dallas' hope will be that he returns to his usual form now that he's paired with a star wideout in C.D. Lamb. The Cowboys lacked a consistent second option last season after trading Amari Cooper, and their second leading receiver from 2022, tight end Dalton Schultz, is currently a free agent. Noah Brown, their third leading receiver last season, signed with the Texans as a free agent. The NFC East continues to load up during a busy first week of the new league year. Hey Cowboys fan, in your opinion a signing by Brandon Cooks was it a good one or not? What's your opinion? Put it in the comments because it's very important for the Dallas Cowboys. Stay tuned because at any time I update you on the latest Cowboys news.